damaging testimony against Albuquerque police today in the wrongful death trial of a man killed by officers. Christopher Torres was shot in his backyard in 2011 by APD officers who were trying to arrest him. His family is suing, and today their attorneys brought in a former cop who says the evidence doesn't match the officer's stories about what happened. News 13's Chris McKee is live at the Bernalillo County Courthouse. Chris. Jessica, the former Massachusetts state cop who testified today said he was, quote, troubled by officers claim that Torres reached behind himself, grabbed one of their guns, and then they struggled to gain control of that gun. Ronald Scott was that expert witness today. He says the evidence shows Torres was not propped up on his arms when he was shot, but laying flat on the ground when he was shot three times. He also pointed to bamboo markings on Torres' body. Scott also said the area where officers struggled seems way too small for Torres to have reached and grabbed Detective Richard Hilliger's gun. Finally, Scott focused on damage to that gun. Investigators say several nicks on the top corner of the gun support the story that Torres had control of that weapon and was banging it around in the rocks during a struggle with Detectives Hilliger and C.J. Brown. Expert witness Scott said there's no way looking at the photos that the gun went through a violent struggle. I would expect it to have seen this firearm with some significant damage, not only on the side, but on the top. And um, it's, it's in showroom condition. There, there's, the damage is those few little, I'm going to call them nicks, at the front. Now, Torres family attorneys also focused on the fact that APD investigators didn't find any prints on the gun on Hilliger's gun of Torres's prints. In cross-examination this afternoon, they also tried to discredit Scott as an expert witness, saying that he never actually physically held the gun. Back to you. Okay, Chris, the trial got off to a late start today because the judge wanted to tour part of the neighborhood where the shooting happened. The trial is expected to continue to the end of the week.